What's up, folks, and welcome to The Social Distance, the first ever talk show shot at my dad's house during a pandemic. Uh, as always, I'm your host, Julian Marcus Shapiro Barnum. We've got my dad, Lawrence Glamberg, over here on the piano. Uh, my other dad was going to help out, but he got to the point where he felt like he needed to self-quarantine in the back. And for some reason, we've got my friend Quentin here on the couch. Honestly, thank you so much for having me. Like, I didn't have anywhere else to go. But dude, this whole you staying here thing is very much still in the air. Like, don't... It's an open dialogue. Don't push it. And especially not right now while we're filming this thing. I don't have anywhere else to go. So. Quentin, shut up! Um, I think we're gonna have a really great show tonight. Um, my, my dad is gonna be the musical guest, and he has a Grammy, so that's cool. Can we get a shot of it? Cool. I'm gonna try to make some jokes, and Quentin said he wants to talk about a book he's reading. You did, you prepared something? Cool. Uh, I don't know, this is all very Im impromptu. We're, we're, we're kind of just trapped, uh, in, in this house. I mean, this is a Nashville, Tennessee pencil with a $2 uh, radio, radio check microphone on it. We're just kind of flying by the seat of our pants. We don't want to go outside. We're honestly scared. I mean, I have severe asthma and Quentin looks good, but he's actually 89 years old. So does that mean I go to the next part? All right, let's keep this going. All right, folks, uh, some news. The state of New York is thinking about putting out a curfew, which we know will be incredibly helpful considering coronavirus only comes out after 8.15 p.m. Uh, the CDC has labeled COVID-19 a pandemic, which is way more inclusive and surprisingly more with the times than calling it a bidemic. <laughs> coronavirus does not give a damn about your gender identity. So that's reassuring. Uh, grocery stores around the country struggle to find supplies during this trying time. Here at uh, 11 Sterling, we've come up with new and exciting ways to, to, to deal with some of these issues. Uh, for example, don't have plastic gloves? Use these five-pronged echidna condoms or cow udder protection devices. Uh, we've also been using bathtub moonshine as hand sanitizer. Speaking of which, let's rub one out for my dad. Get well soon, pops. But day owners across the country are finally having their first ever win. Uh, after years of being the butts of jokes, these wet ass francophiles are finally getting the last laugh. Uh, has anyone seen the penguin video from the Chicago Zoo? The zookeepers from the Chicago Zoo are letting their penguins roam around free because for the first time ever they don't they don't they don't have patrons. So uh let's show that clip. That must have been earth shattering for them. Those are the faces of penguins who just realized that their entire life is a lie. All right, let's talk about love during the coronavirus. What? Are you joining me for this part? Yeah. Tinder yesterday introduced uh, an online video chat feature which allows people to FaceTime into the dates. Thousands of eligible bachelors are logging off of Omegle for the first time in 15 years to peddle their wank-based wares elsewhere. Although people have stopped having to deal with jerks in the streets, they're starting to have to deal with jerks online. Not your best, dude. Did you seriously just... Strike two. With the introduction of Zoom classes and online learning, FaceTime sex has never felt so academic. And students around the country are realizing how little stands between them being a schoolgirl and a cam girl. How's your love life been during all this, Quinn? Relatively unaffected. So you're still going out and like seeing people? I mean, it's, it's just another thing I got to test positive for, so, you know. And Lauren, you? I'm married. You're married? Of course. To who? To daddy. My da the dude in the back? Of course. My dad? I Did you know this, Quentin? Did anybody? Oh, how long? <laughs> I've been married to him for longer than you can imagine. Prove it. I got the rock. All right, dude. Props to you. Well, I just learned that both my dads are married to each other, so that's exciting. Quentin took to the streets today to interview people about how they're feeling about the coronavirus. You got some really good interviews, you said? Great. Let's show that clip. Hi. My name is Quentin Nguyen. This is the Julian Shapiro Barnum Talk Show. Uh, excuse me, sir. Are you on a... Are you in a rush? Um, hi, sir. Do you have... Oh, sir? Hi. We're just doing a talk show, but if you're in a rush, you don't have to say anything. Okay. Hi, ma'am. Hey, how are you doing? Hello, kid. 
Hi. <laughs> no need to... Hello. Are you all in a rush? Sort of. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Making a little video about everything. Seeing what people think. <laughs> it is scary. Tati, can you play the song? Do you have a song? Yeah. Play the song, please. Mind lick hobbit given and belly optic given and shine sweet toys and sin and host my hot spark lick. Dine and say the look of ice, we pet a look. Mid dine a shane and I can dine and play the look, dine a head a look. Host with sin. Quentin, do you want to tell us about the book you've been reading? Are you kidding me? That is a sticker book. If you're looking for a book, I recommend reading Leaving the Atocha <laughs> Station. Did you just cough on me? No. You, yeah. Yes. I, I was on the bus. You were on the bus today, Quentin. Get out of my fucking house. Okay. okay. Come on, dude. Seriously, strike three out the door. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? I feel like I've been sick now. Oh, Stop no. it. No, this is the fuck. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> anyway. Oh, fuck me. I'm out. We're done. I'm done with this. Well, there ain't no use in stockpiling your toilet paper, babe. <laughs> it's not that bad if you get the runs. <laughs> Just buy one roll at a time, babe. Leave some for everyone. Oh, you're coughing and you're sneezing. And you've got the chills. You're only 25, so... You won't get killed, just stay inside for everyone's will Cause the future, it don't look bright <laughs> Oh, Corona baby <laughs> You came so fast <laughs> Oh dear You took away my broad, yeah Broad? Well, I just thought that it would last. At Madrid, it went from zero to a hundred pretty quick. And we're in New York and the whole population's getting sick. Oh, I'm not scared, but I'm not gonna be a dick. The future, it's not looking bright. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> your turn. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.